Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Joining me here today at ITW 2017, our friends over at Iris Network Systems. We're joined by the CEO, Mr. Stuart Birch. Thank you, Jamie. Glad to be here. Glad to have you. We also have Alan Kemp, the Director of Ops. Hello. And we are also joined by Jacques Dutrois. He is the Director of Software Design. Jacques? Thank you. Glad to be here. Glad to have you guys here. And I'm going to actually start with you, Alan. Can you tell us a little bit about Iris? Sure. We, we started the company about six years ago um, to design a, um, a carrier-grade network management software system um, based on a, a long history of working in ISP like UNET and, and Intel Solutions back in South Africa. And we wanted a, a software that was easy to use, fast, scalable, um, and that's kind of where we, we are today. And so, Stuart, can you tell us what type of network operators find value in Iris? Yeah, sure. Mostly, um, we provide services to ISPs. In a United States context, they would be a second-tier ISP or telecom provider. And the real benefit there is we've automated quite a lot of uh, the regular tasks that you would find. Um, some of our other competitors' products don't, uh, don't do that well, and you need a bit of human interaction to, to keep them running. And through that automation, it uh, takes away some of the cost uh, factor for, for the people that uh, are using our software. And so we're talking automation, yet uh, human interaction. Can you tell us how, uh, Jacques, that uh, things may be changing due to uh, the rising curve of automation here? Well, I think um, in this day and age, things are evolving very, very rapidly. Mm -hmm. And it's tough to stay ahead of the curve, especially in something that is so much data and so much continuous involvement in the industry. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think possibly one of the things was when we got into this and we started the business, we knew that things are changing much faster than they did 10 years ago. So we designed our software with the idea that things are going to change with that in mind. Mm -hmm. So that's the one part of it. And also, of course, you know, you, when you hire people, we're, we're looking for the clever guys. Right. And we're looking for, for guys who really have that passion, that fire to to meet the challenges and to really, like they're excited about technology and they're excited about meeting those challenges head on. And those are the kind of guys we like in our team. Mm -hmm. And the combination of the software and the people, I think, is really what helps us to stay ahead of the curve. And Jack, also, what do you see then uh, coming up in the next year ahead for Iris? Well, I think with, a, with the dawn of Internet of Things, with uh, telemetry coming in, all these new technologies coming in. We've been playing around a bit with some of the ideas. We've been testing them out in the labs and a little bit in the field. And our customers are starting to adopt these technologies now. So we're quite excited about introducing our customers to them and seeing what, what challenges we meet in, in the field. And we've, we've had a few like sort of left field problems that we didn't expect. Mm -hmm. So that's quite interesting to deal with those. And um, we just continuously improving the product, uh, dealing with the amount of data, scale, and it's unprecedented the amount of information that is being gathered now. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the major challenges I think everybody's facing. Mm -hmm. And we're planning to really deal with that in the next year, I guess. Yeah, deal with it and, and uh, leverage it um, and, uh, and, and keep us uh, more informed for sure. So, Stuart, for our viewers who may not uh, already know, where can they go for more information? We've got a we've got a website which is irisns.com, and uh, that'll link you through to uh, some product brochures, our YouTube channel, and that's a great place to, to start. There's uh, a contact us form, so you can get in touch with people who uh, want a bit more information, and there's some downloadable material on the site as well. Oh, wonderful, irisns.com, definitely a, a resource to check out. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us here, and thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.